Hey guys, oh, the hair. This is Alicia. Um, just coming to you to kind of, it's World Vitiligo Day. Happy World Vitiligo Day, all of my Vitiligo brothers and sisters. Um, I forget how many we've had now in total. I think they started this in 03, so uh, quite a few World Vitiligo Days. Um, that's not true. They didn't start it in 03. It would have been 09. Doesn't matter. Anyway, happy World Vitiligo Day. So, um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to say hello and, and hi everybody and then just kind of like show you some of the stuff that we got at um, the conference because um, I was unpacking and I'm looking at all the swag <laughs> that we picked up and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, and just kind of talk about our reflections of um, the conference. Hi from England, I see that. Is that Hannah? Hannah, hi, how are you? Um, so yeah, just show you a few things that we got. Um, and we had Herbie with us, so he actually was able to um, have the, the kids uh, part of it too. So I had posted also last week that, um, hi Sharon, how are you? It was so nice seeing you too, and hello Allison. So I posted on Facebook last week that um, we got our proclamation. I got it uh, for the state of Minnesota for World Vitiligo Day. Um, so I actually got the official with the gold seal and everything just today. So. Um, like what perfect timing so officially gold seal pretty little thing um, from the state of Minnesota signed by our governor uh, recognizing today as World Vitiligo Day um, and um, yeah this is the third year in a row that Minnesota has been recognized um, for World Vitiligo Day so that's really exciting that um, you know the first year um, I'm sorry, Vitiligo Bond out of Atlanta actually got our proclamation for us. They were able to, um, to uh, communicate with a lot of um, different states and get tons of different um, proclamations. So this is exciting that um, we have it again now for the third year in a row. Um, and it's just a simple, easy thing to do, you guys, if you're wanting your own proclamation. I know, my voice is gone, isn't it, Rosie? <laughs> it's called screaming, <laughs> having fun, and lack of sleep. So... Um, so you get to put up with my raspiness. Anyway, so yeah, this is exciting to have this proclamation for the third year in a row. Anyway, so what else is happening? Yes, Houston 2019, everybody, is the next World Vitiligo Day Conference. It was announced yesterday. Um, yes, too much karaoke for my singing. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it will be in Houston, hosted by, um, the Houston... Uh, Vitiligo Movement. Um, Diane and her group are doing amazing things there and we love those guys so I cannot wait to uh, rock it out in Houston. Um, yeah, so exciting stuff. So if you guys have anything that you maybe wanted to see um, this year that wasn't done, um, that, you know, they're going to be putting together a program. I'm sure they would love to hear your thoughts and, and whatever. And we're going to develop a, um, a survey to send out. Uh, Valerie asked me to create a survey uh, to send out to you guys um, about the the conference so I need to start on that but today I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm trying to wake up and like I said I'm unpacking so here so first off this beautiful program was put together um, the UMass uh, the um, University of Massachusetts the vitiligo research um, clinic and uh, all the medical and the medical school put on this event along with these vit friends and um, did a fantastic job and the, the IT department, the students, the um, graphic artists did an amazing job putting this conference on. Um, anyway, so this is the program that we first saw. Of course, we have Rowdy the dog um, and the two beautiful children with Vitiligo um, and they kind of use this theme throughout. So um, the Vitiligo Research Clinic has a butterfly as their theme. I believe it's usually white or or brown. Um, yes, Sharon, oh my gosh, we were just talking about how we did not get a group photo. Like seriously, what was wrong with us? <laughs> so um, we had three photographers there too and we completely missed the boat on that. So uh, we both suggested that we need to have it on the schedule in the program of this is when the group photo is. Because um, not only could we get a giant group photo, but then we could do the, the different group photos too by a professional photographer. So we're going to not make that mistake next year that we totally blew that. I don't know how we, you know, you're just so excited you forget stuff. So anyway, this beautiful program. Let's get back to that. Sorry. Um, with the list of our program, the speakers, um, the schedule. Uh, this was painstakingly done. Um, I know Dr. John and his team spent a long time doing this. Um, but look how, boom, look how filled 
this weekend was, you guys. And you wonder why I lost my voice? This is why. This weekend was crazy busy. I, I was telling Dominic, I said, I don't think I've ever been this tired from, <laughs> from a conference, but it is a good tired, such a good tired. So, so many amazing speakers, um, patients, children, um, doctors, leading researchers, great information about treatments that do actually work. It's just now we're, that's that next step. So this was just amazing, you know, all the sponsors here. We have so many sponsors. Um, and what was great about these sponsors, not only did they give money, they came to the event, you guys. So pharmaceutical companies, the people that sell the light boxes, um, they were at the conference. They sat there, they, they, they um, were mixed among us. They went dancing with us. They were at dinner with us. Um, I mean, come on, you guys. This is, because they want to be part of this because they know this can help people. And they know that, you know, honestly, bottom dollar wise, if we get these things approved, um, they're, we're gonna make them money. So uh, what a great thing about, um, about this, um, of them coming there. I mean, I was able to talk to quite a few pharmaceuticals and even connect them with people in the area. There was a gentleman, um, Mike, who lived in right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, and introduced him to Katrina Christensen, who's in uh, North Carolina, and another one that's in Wilmington, Delaware, and hooking them up with the Delaware group. So um, what a, they want to be part of this. So shout out to those sponsors, and shout out to my sponsors um, that helped our, get our wonderful t-shirts. I'm wearing it today. Can you see it? So Wank and uh, the Sullivan Group with Edina Realty. <laughs> anyway, so thank you guys, and we still have money left over from from their sponsorship that we'll be able to use towards our group, which is great. Um, oh, here comes my son. So, uh, what else did we get? So, the first thing we also got was this awesome lanyard that we all wore. I put our Minnesota button on there, but you can see like the logo of the um, thing, and then our names. Like, how cute are those? And then I put our sticker in the back, because why not? But yeah, I got to wear these all weekend, and now we get to keep these, because this is cool. So. Fun little thing that they gave us right away. Um, also, the t-shirts that they did this year were great. This is wrinkled because we, you know, we drove and we packed it in. So the logo on the front um, with the children research hope of the future, and then in the back here about the conference. So this is Herbie. So, and it's wrinkled. I'm sorry, but how cute is that logo? I mean, it's just it's adorable. Um, so yeah, all the all of us got that. We all got a bag. A little swag bag to hold our swag. Um, Bit friends, UMass Medical School and Vitiligo Clinic Research. Um, we all got some of those, which was great. I'm falling down. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else did we get, you guys? Um, these fantastic stickers that we can all all get on there, which are fun. Yes, the rowdy stickers. I'll get to that, Rosie, because I got the kids stuff here. Um, also, here was one of our. Um, one of our sponsors, Davilin. So they sell the light box booths. Um, and it's something that was interesting that um, Dr. Amit had talked about was um, you, you can get a home unit light box for about $3,200. You know, and, and I know that seems like so expensive, but when you, when you break it down, like what's your deductible usually a year? I know ours is outrageous. Um, and then you know, is it worth your time to be going into these doctor treatments and getting things? So getting a light box unit at home, he actually said he's able, they're cheaper on Craigslist. Good to know, Allison. Um, you know, and some of the insurance companies cover this. So um, I know he said United Healthcare covers it. Oh, he said another one. But he said he has trouble with Blue Cross Blue Shield, so it's our job to go after Blue Cross Blue Shield. But um, these units can be helpful along with the creams and along with a healthy diet. So, and people have had success. Okay, so Davlin gave us one of those. Oh, where did I do with the other one? Oh no, where did I put it? Eee! Crap. Oh, here it is. So this is, from, so Blue Lizard is a um, health partner. That was the other one, thank you, Maggie. Um, Blue Lizard is a sunscreen company, actually out of Australia. And um, I, I uh, talk about this, it's a great, it's, um, it's a, um, a natural natural sunscreen 
um, that also has zinc in it that is very good for people with uh, vitiligo. It's one of the best um, uh, sunscreen that's out there. So they gave us some samples, which was great. Um, we'd love to have them as a sponsor, hopefully in a couple years or this year or next year. So anyway, um, shout out to Blue Lizard because that was so nice. Got some pens from the Lightbox company. Um, we got mints. I would assume that the, I haven't even honestly looked at these because <laughs> I'm assuming they were made in that area. Yeah, Massachusetts. Little cinnamon mints. They were delicious. Um, what else did we get, you guys? Okay. I'm losing stuff because I have it spread everywhere. Um, so let's just talk about the kids' stuff because that's what I have next. So Miss April Sawyer, God bless her soul. Um, who doesn't love April, you guys? Come on. Who doesn't love her? So all of the little kids got a swag. And my phone was ringing. Sorry, Jenny. I can't talk to you. Um, World Vitiligo Day Conference. Vitiligo Rocks Pen Pal Patch of it, friend. So all the kiddos got this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they all got this wonderful t-shirt that she made. Again, it's wrinkled because I had it in my <laughs> had it in my uh, um, my suitcase. And then Herbie was too busy to get his autographs, but all the kids did autographs on the back of your t-shirts, which was so cute. So cute. And then they also got autograph books. And as you can see, again, you know, Herbie is too busy. So <laughs> um, but great little things that she put together for that. Um, and then how freaking cute are these? I know my sister was bummed that she couldn't get a bear, but I, and I, you know, I, I halfway thought about giving her the bear, but I mean, I just couldn't. I'm sorry, Jenny. <laughs> so we got a bear <laughs> um, and some cool pen pal patch um, wristbands. These are super cute vitiligo rocks, of course. Um, what else does she give them? A great little notepad book. Um, and then we got these great stickers from Rowdy the Dog. Um, and, oh gosh, where's he from? He's in, oh gosh, I should know you guys. Oregon, I believe, Portland, Oregon. So how cute are those, you guys? A little Rowdy, cute little pup dog. So he gave us those. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, the V Strong team and Phyllis um, Gilmer, Russell Gilmer, donated her book, Skin Deep. Um, and it's a story that was written for children with vitiligo. They autographed them all. Um, said, you are beautiful, Phyllis A. Russell Gilmer, World Vitiligo Day 2018. Super cute. So everybody got, all the children got these books. Uh, Perry, I took today off. We didn't get home till 2.30 in the morning last night. My husband's working. <laughs> God bless him. But I stayed home. So uh, my boss, Pat Sullivan, is a wonderful man and is always flexible with me. And thank you, Pat, for letting me <laughs> do what I do. So anyway, that's the book. This is my work, too. Um, also, we got this wonderful book called Different Just Like Me, written by Lori Mitchell. And her wonderful, beautiful daughter, April Mitchell, was at the conference. Um, and she has vitiligo, and she's had it for years. But as you can see, she's got red boots on in this photo. And that girl is rocking red boots again. So... Um, I think that's cute that she keeps that going. But again, they, they autographed it for all of us, all the kids, um, which was so cute. Um, it says, glad, glad you're different just like me. For, and then they have a, a website to go to, and then they, and then they signed it. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, let me just go. So, and she also spoke and told her story about Vitiligo and had a great slideshow with photos and um, yeah, it was, it was really cool to meet her finally because I've seen her all over the place. Um, just a very sweet, beautiful, wonderful person. Okay, what else did we get, guys? Um, I, I, now I purchased these ahead of time, um, but I brought them to the conference because I knew they would be there. So Miss Archie from Delaware, Archie Lynn, wrote a book called um, Loss of Pigment, Not Purpose. And um, I'm halfway through reading it. Actually, I'm, oh wait, I'm like three quarters away, guys. But anyway, got her to sign it for me because, you know, why not? She's there. So um, I think she was surprised that I asked for an autograph. But why not, you guys? Come on, we got to support, we got to support our family. Mwah. Love you, Archie. Beautiful woman. And then Jan Valley's book, um, no a no-nonsense no, no guide to vitiligo. This just came out this year. Um, so I had him sign this for me, too. Uh, he has been a, um, an incredible um, advocate for vitiligo for years now, and uh, he is a patient himself, 
and has done so much with the uh, Vitiligo Research Foundation. Um, anyway, this is a great book. I was talking to a friend of mine at the conference um, who said when she was diagnosed, this gave her so much information. Um, she said it was like the most comprehensive thing she read about vitiligo. So if you don't have it, it's on Amazon. It's not very expensive. Um, go out and buy it and again, support the community. Oh, what else did we get you guys? <clears throat> so, oh, I got to show off for my, my boy, Andre, um, my, one of my besties. He has started a line called Vidiware Vidi Nation and um, he has hats, t-shirts, tank tops. So this is purple. I don't know how well you can see that in the light, but um, Vidiwear logo right there with the spotted ribbon. And um, we like, we don't like flat bills, <laughs> so we got the curved bills, but um, I got this one for me and then the boys, I bought one called Vidi Nation with Vidi Nation. Um, but he had all kinds like Vidi Queen, Vidi Princess. He spoke to a little girl um, that was looking at the stuff and, and he's like, oh, you know, would you like, I, would you like that Vitiligo Princess one? And she's like, oh, I'm not a princess, I'm a queen. <laughs> so, so she wanted the Vidi Queen one. Um, so she got that. But anyway, um, these are super awesome. And look, even like the inside, it says Vidi Wear, Vidi Nation. And like the, the little label. Like he's got it all set up. I mean, this guy's, this guy's stacked. So Andre, these are beautiful and I love them and how awesome that. Once again, um, this is giving back to the community because he is um, helping with proceeds and donations to go right back into the community. So great job. Um, something that is coming up, Farrell Phelps is a photographer in Houston. He is hosting a gala um, to release his book Skin Deep, The Skin I'm In. It's a, a look at people with different skin conditions um, throughout the United States and actually the world, I believe. He's got some worldwide people in there, but a beautiful book that will be coming out. They're having a gala um, July 14th. Um, and if you just go to the Skin I'm, the skin I'm In Exhibit.com, um, you can get some more information on there. So otherwise, just look up um, The Skin I'm In or Feral Phelps. Um, what else do we get you guys? Oh, look at, I got this from my dad. Um, he, he does stuff with, um, metal work. And so, um, he's in Kentucky now and has a very large, um, access to horseshoes. So he made me this beautiful, um, horse spotted horseshoe, uh, for the Lego day. So, yeah. So thank you, dad. I love this. This is so cool. And it wasn't too heavy in my backpack. <laughs> I was telling my mom, I'm like, this is really heavy. Oh no, I'm trying to find one other thing. <gasps> Where did I put it? Okay, hang tight, because I gotta find it because it's super cool and I you have to see it. So hang tight, you're gonna look at my husband's Ham's beer collection for like two seconds. Oh my. And then you're gonna see me walk by. I had, this is like my favorite thing out of the whole weekend and I can't find it. Mm. Alright, we're gonna find it guys. Otherwise I'm just gonna have to come back on with a... Ah. Hang on guys, I swear I'm coming. Well, fiddle faddle. I don't know where I put it. <sighs> but I have... Okay. So, <laughs> I know Kim. I'm an idiot. Oh, I found it! I found it! <laughs> Oh, for the love of Pete. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so this was a plaque um, given to me uh, by Valerie and the Vit Friends board. Um, so I get to hang this on my wall, which I'm super excited about. And it caught me off guard, so I didn't have a lot of time to cry when it was presented. <laughs> so which is really good, because I would have bawled my eyes off. So just, so just in appreciation of Alicia Roofs from Minnesota for your enthusiasm and creativity in furthering the goals of the Vitiligo community. And then it has World Vitiligo Day Conference 2018. So this is beautiful and I am going to cherish this 
for the rest of my life. So thank you, Valerie and everybody else. I love it. Um, anyway, what else did we get? That was, you know, for swag, that was, that was a lot, guys. <laughs> I ended up having to send some more home with my parent, with my sister, so she could mail it to me because um, we were limited on space in our backpacks. But um, just a wonderful, wonderful time. So many great memories, so many new friendships. It was so, I feel like I didn't talk to everybody. It was kind of like a wedding, how you never feel like you talk to everybody. Um, so I apologize if I did not, if I did not take time to talk to you, I apologize. My gosh, we were just running our heads cut off and it was wonderful. So um, I know there's several people watching. Is there anybody that wants to come on with me and just talk about um, their experience or, um, or say anything. Oh my gosh, Kim, I agree. There's so many photos. It's crazy. Um, and I absolutely loved uh, seeing all the photos. I was telling uh, Kim, it's kind of like, it's like a drug. I just can't stop scrolling and looking at all these amazing photos. Um, I wish there was a way where we could put them, where we all could upload them onto one place. Maybe we can figure that out. Or maybe Dr. John's got some IT guy up his sleeve that could figure out how we could put them all in one spot. But I'm so anxious to see the professional photos too. Uh, Cause, oh my gosh, <laughs> I know they took probably, they probably took like 3000 photos, I bet, that um, the gentleman from Arizona. So um, anyway, but yeah, if anybody wants to come on, just let me know and I'd love to join in. Sydney, hi, it was so nice to meet you. Um, I was so glad that you got to come and, and experience this. Um, this fun. So, and Allison from uh, Texas, you are a crazy wild girl and I love it. So, uh, we will get along very well in the future too. So, um, all the newbies that came out, I just, I would love to hear what your thoughts were um, and if you want to come again next year. So, I, I have a feeling my sister and my mom are hooked. Um, so, Jenny and, and Denise uh, that came with me, um, you know, they, they always hear about me talk about it, but um, I've never come. My mom's come to a picnic before with the fam, with uh, with our group, but never in that massive of setting. So um, they were excited and kind of nervous about coming. And I and I told them I said, "Oh, they'll love you. Don't worry." <laughs> so um, and you know, and I I love them so much, and I'm so glad they came. And I they are just in awe of um, the love that was within our community, and. Um, and were able to share it and I think they just were just just taken back by the whole thing and, and um, I have a feeling they're hooked and I have a feeling they're gonna want to come again so um, yeah I don't know anybody else anything else to add um, yeah yeah I think next year we'll try to get um, I don't know what I'm trying to say Kim and I have talked about a little bit about uh, some things in the program that we could try uh, and Diane, is, I'm not trying to take anything over, so Diane, I just would love to, um, if you need any help with anything, you just let me know. I am more than willing to, to help with stuff. So um, I, I just, I love these events. I love them. So I would love to, you know, once we grow and grow and grow, how cool would it be to do like regional events, like each, each section of the country hosts their own thing. So, um, and maybe just different times of year, maybe there's one giant one and um, go from there. Oh, Kim, I'm gonna add you, girl. Okay, here we go. Kim is getting added. Dude, where is next year's event, Maggie? It is in Houston. Houston. So uh, I don't know the exact date yet. Um, it always is gonna float around June, July, or June 25th, um, but I don't know exactly when. So we're adding Kim. Let's see if happens. Adding, it's adding. It's adding. A thousand patients in Houston. Yeah, there's my girl. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. I look How are you? traveling, don't I? Did you get some sleep? A little. We had to go get our dogs this morning. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, a little. Yeah. <laughs> 14 hours, three stops. Michelle slept all the way. Lucky. <laughs> She went to work though, so we had to let her see. Wow, that's a good read. And she works like crazy hours, doesn't she? I know, she does. She does. Boy, she that's, does. Yeah, that's cr Yeah, but it was a blast, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was really, I was, I, I still, I feel more tired now than I, and I told Dom, I said, next year, we're going to plan our like day of 
touring before the conference. Yeah. Because <laughs> yesterday we like we walked to Cheers, um, and went oh, there because that was like the one thing Don wanted. Dom wanted to do and then after that I'm kind of looking at him like I don't feel like doing anything else so we kind of walked around downtown Boston and then we're like well I guess we'll just head to the airport yeah so then we sat in the airport forever but yeah we were so tired um, with all the cancellations <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that poor Houston group they they were <laughs> oh, I, I hopefully they're home by now I felt so bad for them I know. Um, they, uh, oh, there were my dogs. Yeah, they were, um, cause they were flying, there was a line of storms and they were flying south and they were just oh, running right into yeah. it. So we were lucky cause, and I was worried we were going to fly into the storms in Minneapolis, but, um, but it all stayed south of where we were flying into. So, but yeah, what a mess. <laughs> Rain and some traffic. Traffic when we left Boston. Wooster. Yeah. Is that how we say yep. it? Do we know how to say it yet? And Wooster. Wooster. So yeah. Rain. Yeah. Rain. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. My sister and my mom were driving. They ended up going to Hershey last night to go check out the factory or whatever yeah. um, in Pennsylvania. But the, the route they took went actually like through the Bronx. And I don't think oh. they realized how close to New York they were going to be. Oh, so wow. they hit two and a half hours of bumper to bumper and just oh. sat. That's crazy. And she says, this is why I don't live out East. <laughs> so all you yeah. Easterners, I don't know how y'all do it, but yeah. God bless you. Cause I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, we got home at I got my, I love watching it. Yeah, Kim, the live feeds were cool, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really cool that they were able to do that. I'm anxious to go and watch them, you know, and I think it's like a couple hours worth of feeds, but I know um, it'll be fun to kind of <laughs> look at that again. It's on the news that we ended up on the news in Boston. I <laughs> saw that. That was kind of cool. That was cool. Yeah, that, that was, was very cool. cool. You yeah. guys are Worcester famous. I know. <laughs> it was great. everything was really really good like it's so much information um yeah scared and I think it gives people and I think it did exactly what it should have done is give people ideas for when they go home um and I'm reminded of uh, Dr. Rich's presentation on Friday really important class that really huge um there's my dog um <laughs> it's 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 really huge what we're we're doing and the impact we're making, especially you know support groups and patients working with pharmaceutical companies and 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 the doctors, especially the doctors who spent so many years um, on research and 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 this is the place they come because this is the largest audience of vitiligo patients that that they see. Let me turn this light off. It's yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> I agree. And it's, you know, it's, I, 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 so many of us just don't have any hope because there's so many doctors out there that are misinformed um, or just don't know enough because they spend so little time teaching about vitiligo in med school and even dermatology school um, that they just don't, you know, if they don't focus on it, they don't know about it. So, so many, so many of us that go to the dermatologist, you know, a good chunk of them just don't know the research and to hear the, the few that are doing such huge things with it, that's actually working for people. Um, it does give you a hope. That's for sure. It's Alicia. Oh, she's live. Hello. Is that Mr. David? <laughs> ah, honey, Hello. How are you? How are you? <laughs> he said, if you I'm come wonderful. in November, we cannot get in trouble. He, what did you say, David? I said, don't y'all come here and get Alicia put on a timeout. Oh. I will find Dom's number and call and tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have fun. We'll have fun. And Amethyst agreed on camera, so she can't change her mind. She did. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to people what it, what exactly is happening in November? Because I'm, I'm a little vague on it. I, I'm just like, I'm coming, and I don't even know what I'm coming for. <laughs> I'm going to put up the website here. It's the, um, it's a, um, an, it's a vitiligo symposium, and they had it in Paris, I believe, the last time, and this is the doctors, and, and um, it's a symposium about vitiligo. Dr. Lim, of Henry Ford here and Dr. Hamzavi um, are hosting this year um, in Detroit. So yep. 
um, with the support. And, and it's for all, it's for like international doctors, yeah, right? That are an, coming? A symposium. So, um, and okay. they talk about, you know, research and outcomes and, and it's, I think it's more collaboration to um, more um, information on, uh, on a cure and treatments and this, this, I think it's just further discussion and collaboration about vitiligo because people are so interested in it. Now, it's, it, if you have to have vitiligo, it's probably the best time to have it because there's so much okay, right. and, and, and collaboration about it. I'm going to pull up the site for the for it. Okay. Give me a second. So I'll just see. Cause, yeah, because it's, it's more of a, it's more of a medical not conference, but a medical time symposium um, for doctors, but they were wanting somewhat of a patient presence to just kind of say, hey, these are the people that we're trying to help and right. trying to cure. Um, so that's why Dr. Huggins was kind of saying, if you can make it, that'd be great. You know, I right. doubt you're, I doubt we're going to sit there all day with them right. and go through all the stuff they're going to, um, but at least be there to be a presence. Right. So the website is VIS. 2018.org. And that's yeah. the vitiligo. What, what does VISOB stand for? Vitiligo International Support Symposium. Something. Vitiligo International Symposium. Okay. Symposium. And it's hosted by Dr. Hamzavi and Dr. Lam of Henry Ford Hospital okay. in Detroit. Um, and it's November 9th through the 10th. And, okay, so over a weekend. Yep, and here's the here's the definition of what it is. It was created to gather world experts to explore clinical, scientific information and patient needs. So clinical, scientific information and patient needs. So what I like okay. is always a focus on what the patient needs, what the vitiligo patient yeah. needs. Um, and it's a scientific committee of distinguished panel of experts specialized in vitiligo, assembling um, an exciting scientific program to cover aspects of basic science to clinical and therapeutic applications. So, um, okay. so part science, part patients. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. And I'm, yeah, I'm sure more information will be coming about and we'll be able to share and yeah. Um, and do that, but yeah, I would love to, love to be there. To the I already... and, um, yeah. And look at, uh, at what the purpose, there's a conference purpose here. It talks about the logo, um, and why they chose that specific logo, which I was able to vote on it as well as one of the, um, nice. GVF's, um, board members and, cool. uh, it talks about who the target audience is and the benefit. Um, and it gives a lot of information on what to expect. So the V Strong, okay. group, of course, will be heavily involved in helping wherever we can. We're looking, looking forward to that. So that's two big uh, vitiligo conferences that we'll get to be involved in. So, right. Cool. Can you give the address, the, the website again? It's V, like vitiligo, V I S. 2018.org. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, everybody. Um, so now Kim is part of the GVF, um, the Global Vitiligo Foundation. Can you explain like what your role is and what you are with the GVF for those who don't know? Well, I, I'm the treasurer and um, so I help with the finances, but moreover, um, Vicki Tierhart and I are, are also on the board and we kind of are the patient. You froze. Shell oh, she froze. Are you back? There she is. Well, that's the phone rang. Ah. That's Michelle calling me. But Michelle, if you're on your way over, come on by. I'm here. Um, <laughs> so we represent the patient voice and, and, and try to make sure that there's a good balance of uh, what the doctors are doing and what we're doing together. So, um, so we have a lot of input on, um, on, on what the patients need and needs are and, and, and give some perspective from that. So. Okay. And what's, what's kind of exciting with the GVF is that they, they officially want to help take over 
the conferences now as far as planning, um, raising the funds, which is a huge, yeah. you know, you knew that doing that in, in Detroit, how hard it was to raise funds. Right. Um, right. So if we can have like a global uh, group behind doctor led group that can have those contacts with the pharmaceuticals and other doctors to raise the funds yep. to help host these events. Um, that's huge for us. So um, I'm really excited that they're wanting to um, take a leading role in, and yeah. helping with these conferences and you obviously and Valerie and all, those who have done these have, have started a nice plan of what you need to do to do these conferences and are creating that checklist and creating right. that um, goal. And so now it's just going to be like, who's going to host it? What com what community is going to host it? Um, as, and as we know, Houston is going to in 2019 and, and who knows for 2020 and so right. on and so forth. So, right. Um, I, I think that's exciting that they're wanting to, to play a huge part in that. And I'm, I'm just pumped with that. So, and then those of us so, yeah. who, have been, who have been involved, you, you've been involved in, um, in, in providing some great, um, feedback based on the experience of going through to all three, those of us who were in DC and, yeah. you know, having been the, the, the person who helped and planned for Detroit last year and then this year and, and all the boots on the ground, really, it takes a lot of people to put this yeah, does. on. So I really commend Dr. John and Valerie and, and, and the, the team it's, it's, it, they're out mm -hmm. front, but the it truly is a team that, that puts yeah. the thing on and, and everything's not going to be perfect because it's, right. it's a lot of work and you try not to miss, you try to make sure all the, the I's are, are, are dotted and the T's are crossed, but each one, each conference that we, um, that we have, it's, it gives us lessons learned for the next one. Yes. And so, you know, everything is, is, is not going to be perfect, but we right. accomplish what we hope to accomplish. And that was to see yeah. the smiles on the faces, the hugs. Oh my God. The pictures. I, I can't even imagine how many pictures were taken. Um, the information oh shared from all of the professionals that, that took time out of their schedules and, and came and spent the weekend with us and, and the, all the wonderful doctors really, who really have been yeah. in this fight for a long, 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 long time. When you think about yeah. the Dr. Johns, the Dr. Pandias, Dr. Huggins, Dr. Hamza, right. Dr. Lim, Dr. Grimes, um, yep. um, Dr. Desai. They've been boots on the ground. <laughs> yeah. That, that weren't there. Yeah. We still know they, that they're doing the work. Um, yeah. I know Houston has some doctors and psychologists that they've connected with. Um, so all of those right. people do a lot of work for us. Um, and for sure. Here, for sure. sure we understand the the work that's going on, which is why we have the, the research outcomes and, and, share, and that's why they share some of the scientific information that may seem a little bit overwhelming, but it gives you an idea of the work that they're doing and that goes... Yeah because although many of us may be comfortable there are some who are not and that's and we have to keep that in mind that still um want their want their color back <laughs> and dr pandy yes Pandy yep, exactly time so um that he sees a lot of yep. people that leave out of his office in tears there's still for as many that that we think are comfortable and walking you know with their heads held high there there are many many more that are not and that's oh, yeah. the purpose of the conference. That's the purpose of all the research. Um, and yep. that's the purpose of the advocacy and talking to our legislators and making them understand that we can't get any of this done without funding. And there has to be a united right. IGO community that says, this is what we want. So yep. um, when you put yep. that together with our campaigns and the things we see on social media and the, and the conferences, then that's sending a... a, a the right message to the right people and it'll catch on. Yes. It'll happen. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's going to catch on. I, I just saw, uh, um, April was on here, April Sawyer. Uh, and I just want to give her a shout out. And I, I did a little bit in the beginning, but um, now that she's on, I just want to say how much um, fun the kids had this year and how many children we had. This was the first year we had several children that came and I know the moms and dads were just, over the moon right. um, with the conference. And I think um, go, going back with just excitement for their children, I'm really anxious to see once the kids come down, um, 
what their experience truly was and, and, and if they'll notice a difference maybe in their demeanor and, and, and how they act. Um, yeah. I, I will, I'll be really interested in talking to the parents in about a month and seeing what they what their thoughts are. But but Abel did such a great job entertaining those children. I, you know, yeah. I, I, I tried daycare for two years and that was enough for me. So, um, <laughs> be, you know, uh, uh, keeping kids entertained and occupied and and, and still having fun um, is a lot of work. And, and her family and her volunteers um, were, were great. And then just all the donations and all the stuff that kids yeah. got to have. Yeah. And hey, you, and, the, and you guys were good. And you did a good job by getting a photo of all the kids, unlike the rest of us. Um, yeah. That was oh. great to see. Um, but yeah, just thank you so much, April, for all your hard work. You are an inspiration to so many people and you are helping so many families, um, that you've never even met yet. So, um, we love you very, very much. So thank you for that. It was really good Saturday morning. That was really, really a good presentation and, and the video, um, with the kids, that was great. Really good. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> that was needed. The pen pal patch is a great idea. And you can see that it's working because they have, they're building relationships just like the rest of us. But, um, so she's doing a great yeah. job with that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would have given anything to have a, a friend when I was a kid with Vitiligo. Yeah. Like that would have been, you know, that would have been awesome. <laughs> so yeah. I love that she's doing, you know, and we had a little boy come from Australia. Like how cool is that? Him and Herbie just were, were bosom buddies on Saturday, but I thought that's awesome. A parent, feels the need and the, and the want to fly all the way from Australia to come to this um, because she wants to help her son. And I thought that's such a, yeah. a good um, show of what we're, what, how our community is looking right now that somebody right. has this want to come and be a part of it from Australia. Um, I just thought that was awesome. So um, yeah, just a lot of great kids and just the smiles and the, the attitudes, you know, yeah. the posing and, yeah. um, it was, it was great. So I'm just so excited about it. Yeah. Well, our future's it, bright, man. It is, it is. And you know, it's, it's, it, it's bringing people together. If you think about the audience and the only reason we were there is because the one thing we had in common, which is vitiligo. You know, I would not um, know any of you without it, you know? Right. So um, it's great to form those friends. You think about Friday night, oh my goodness. And everybody coming in for the first time and seeing all these faces that they may have met on social media. I think about Sharon King, like Lady Ligo, like I've been, you know, friends with her only for a short time on maybe about the last year or so, but you know, you get yep. to see these people in person and it's like, oh, hey, yeah, you do exist. And um, so all the people, all the new connections that, that we've made over the last year and, and then to have them join us. So I'm excited for, um, and, and then to hear about what they picked up and, 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 and what they'll do with the information, with a lot of us will do yep. with the information that we learned this year. And each year yeah. we learn something new. It doesn't get old. Keep going. Every year you learn something new or you see somebody or you oh, know, yeah. that you've never met totally before. Totally do. Yeah. Well, and I think the first year you walk in, you're just kind of like overwhelmed. It's like, yeah. oh my gosh. And you just, you know, you're emotional and uh, just in awe for like, for a good chunk of the weekend. So I think, yeah, having you and I have been been to three now, uh, yeah. you kind of have a little bit different perspective because you, right. you, you're still excited and you're still in awe, but it's kind of like, okay, I know what to expect. And I, and I can kind of reflect more as we're doing it. Whereas the first year you're just like, you know, yeah, if just, you think about DC, just, Oh my God, it's crazy. From Look how far, is. you know, look how far we've come. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and yeah, I was saying earlier and then that there were so many people I didn't talk to that. I, I hate that. I, I said, I know there was just so many of us, which was fantastic. But then it was like, I, oh, I don't know if I talked to you or did I get a picture with you? I don't remember. And no. you're just, and I feel bad. I'm sure there were people I missed that I really wanted to connect with. Oh, and and then some people that were like, oh, hey, Alicia. And I'm looking at them like, oh gosh, I don't know you. I'm sorry. And I'm That's even with right. my name. I'm like, okay. No. okay. So I, What's your name though? I know because right? it's just so, so many of us, it's hard to, 
to to get a chance to talk to everybody. Like I didn't, I wanted to, it's just so many people I wanted to just sit down and hang out with for a little bit longer. Um, Archie, it was yes. glad, and um, Sherry and Sharon. I, I, I mean, I could go on and on, but yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. To, that's the, the only, it's hard to really try to spend time with everybody, but. Yes. Um, and that's when you just run by and say, okay, hey, let's take a picture. And then that's, yep. what you, you know, <laughs> but it was yep. fun. Yep. It was a lot of fun. It is. It's totally fun. Totally fun. And now well, we, I think I'm going to, do you have, oh, go ahead. I said, now we go to Houston. Yes, now to Houston. I'm excited about that. It'll be how warm does it get down in Houston in June? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I'm you sure. You know me. I need my cold. I'll just have to bring like a portable air conditioning with me. <laughs> it's hot in Texas, but we'll find out. Diane will will uh, will guide us uh, properly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's all I have. Do you have more to add, hon? I don't. I need to get unpacked. Um, I'm glad I took today Me off. Too. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get unpacked. And... I'm, supposed to be, I'm supposed to be grocery shopping right now, too. But Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I did before, we, before we left. So just catching up with reality. Um, that may take a little bit. I, I'm, I'm trying not to get on Facebook too much because there's so many pictures. And today, oh my being gosh. the LIGO Day... Uh, uh, the official day, it's it's hard not to just sit down and be glued to, uh, yeah. to my computer here. So I purposely didn't. Yeah. I, was, I saw you go live. I'm like, okay, well, let me see what Alicia's talking about. And But I'm getting tagged and stuff, and I want to watch it all. But I'll do that tonight. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, for sure. It's warm enough for me to be on the deck, so that's what I'll do. There you go. Yeah. There you go. All righty. <laughs> all right, girl. So you have a good one. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll yep. share this. And then uh, I think Valerie wanted me to put this on YouTube. So I'll try to do that too. So, all right. You. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.